so in Adobe Premiere Pro, there's a cool thing called blend mode. You can find this also in Photoshop and also After Effects. The blend mode I'm going to show you here is called difference mode. Here's how it works. If you take a still picture of a scene and then combine it with the moving picture of the scene and you put the still picture set to difference mode, when you overlay them, anything that's moving or different between the two images is clearly visible as you can see. Here's another example using a parking garage. You can see that when combined in difference mode, the only thing you see is the moving cars. I thought it would be interesting to apply this blend mode to the Linda Lane footage, making it a little easier to see the moment anything moves in the frame. Here we go. Okay, you guys, um, I'm going to actually talk here for quite some time to tell you about this first. And I have to hold this dang button down to do it because it didn't get it on my recording part. Uh, I'm a little pissed off right now. I'm going to try a different way. Okay, so I didn't try a different way. I'm going to do it like this. Try to make it quicker than the last one. Um, so what I wanted to tell you is that with this dark, with this uh, difference mode, I call it dark mode, actually, what you see are like tracers on the ground, like say, say like, it, like the heat patterns, like when you can track someone with the heat. This is kind of like that, but I, it's kind of like a glow stick, you know, like tracer type thing. Anyway, when they're walking, you will you can see it on the ground. That's why I say you have to be in a really dark room when you're watching this. It's so much better that way. But I wanted to make sure that, because when you have this video turned up, there's a lot of extra noise that they're putting, adding to this, and they're adding it to cover up the other noises. The, the the horrific noises that it yeah the screams and the cries and things like that and that's why yeah, there's a lot of car noises put in there but there's also noises like say for instance you're s sitting in your car and you're you're turning your wheel you're not moving you're just turning your wheel and you hit you get that kind of kind of sound that's they do that typically I from what I've kind of figured out when people are whispering because it, it it's it's kind of weird I don't know why they when they did it like that, it was kind of stupid because it almost enhances and you can almost hear it better, which is weird, but you can. So also, I'm going to tell you that when I'm recording these, um, I put it down one notch slower because you can actually hear them better. You can hear what they say better. And so that's so you know that. That's I didn't want to, like, you know, trick you in any way. That's what I do. I don't do it on all of them, but I do it on these right here where you're really trying to hear stuff. And you can do that yourself on other videos too. That's just in the settings up top in your YouTube, uh, when your channel just, or not even your channel, like the actual video, just click on the settings and go to playback speed. So, uh, there's a lot of activity in here. Um, and there's, you can tell they scrub the people out of, out of the, the ones where you can see stuff because otherwise you'd be able to see them because of the way they're moving in these videos, in this dark, in this, uh, difference mode. Another thing, so when they do the cars and stuff, they're super, super loud. And it, it hurts your ears sometimes because I usually have it turned way up on here, the volume, when I'm trying to listen to the people. And then something will come into the picture and be like, oh my God, it was so loud. Well, same with here. Um, and you can tell when they're covering something up because you're, you're going to hear these car sounds and you're not going to see a flipping car. There's no lights. No, nothing. You don't, the car's not there. It's, it's actually added to this. So there is a couple times when 
um, there was a car there, but they drove off with the lights, and I know because they, they went around, and they ended up over at King, and that was some guy, a guy, I'm not going to say who it is because you guys can listen to it, but he had been sitting underneath the Linda Lane uh, carport right there, and uh, he, even, he, he was even talking to himself, and then a car pulls up, and he says, I think he's the one that says, I'm pretty sure because he whispers John, like J-O-H-N, to the driver, so, or vice versa, whichever one it was, anyway, yeah, so, he also, he also whispers Murphy, and other, some other things, too, um, he whispers, I'm so great, <laughs> yeah, really weird, but, um, another thing I was going to tell you, too, what is that, um, oh, you'll get us to Enan's cat running around, uh, there's an interview that inter that Enan did with, uh, I think, Lana, where she asked him, what do you do with your cat when you're gone on, you know, see your family in San Francisco and stuff? It's like, oh, that cat goes with me everywhere. That cat follows me everywhere I go. So he said it. Just watching this video, you're going to see that cat moving all over the place. And I, I am, it's my opinion that the cat is following Enan. So what was Enan doing up and why do you lie about it? You're also going to hear Enan talking. Well, you're going to hear people calling his name, actually. And this is about, were well, you going to hear it par partial, partially where the fight was that, you know, you, you saw my video or he listened, that one. But there's also whether when they drove that car back over around, they're busy packing the car. So there's a lot of activity. Over there. There's two guys, I think, and a girl. Uh, let's see what else. Gosh, there's so much I want to say. But, oh, I also think that there is above, above that Linda Lane where the camera is, there's, that's where the apartments are. So to below, with that hallway back there, I think it, in, it has storage areas in it for each of the apartments. And when they're going in there and you're hearing that banging, I think they are in a storage unit. And I, you're going to hear some other banging later on in the video. I don't, th I don't know if it'll be on this one or not. But I think they put Ethan in there. And I think it's him banging to get out. Because you're going to hear also like two beeps and and it's, that that happens a, a lot of, but I only caught it one time when I mentioned it like in the previous time. But there's like three or four of those, but he but you can't hear him talking. In this particular one, you hear him say "Help me." So I know there's more, but uh, just in a dark room, be in a dark room because you see it so much better. And um, oh, in the beginning of the video, I have. Um, some pictures in there of the Linda Lane stuff. So one of them has got when I'm in a, what I see when I'm recording. So I have like a bright light thing up on the up in the upper right hand corner, and I have and then there's that timestamp that's like a light in the upper left, and in the lower left there's the actual timestamp. So what Jeff has done in it, you, in it, you can watch it at the beginning of this video. It kind of shows you exactly what he's done and that timestamp. So what I do is I take my finger and kind of cover it over those two and my other recording one so that I, so it's not shining on the, the screen. I mean, I can't touch the screen because it will stop doing stuff, but I kind of just hover it over top of those so I, so they're covered up and it definitely helps be able to see stuff. And oh, there's one point in this video too where you can watch them back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. I mean, there must have been, I don't know how many, but there's, there's a few from the laundromat, which is at the very end of that Linda Lane thing, closest to the Queen Apartments, and back and forth to where the, I think the storage areas are. Uh, yeah. And there's also, now yeah, I'll, I'll go into it later, but it's like, there's so many comments I have, and I'm so sorry I can't get to all of them, you guys, but it takes a long time to get all those, you know, I, I, I'm a... I'm a wordy person. I mean, I don't want to just say one thing in there. I want to answer the question, you know, and that's really difficult sometimes to get to get everybody. You know, I'm so sorry about that. It's, it's not intentional. If I didn't get you, it's not intentional. I read all your stuff. Actually, I can't say that to you. I read as much as I can. There's some videos I've made I haven't even read the comments on because it's there's so much. There's so much, you guys, and I appreciate all your stuff. But just know that I'm not doing intentionally. I'm not picking on anybody. I'm not, you know, I'm not zeroing anybody out or anything like that. I promise. Okay, so so be mindful of your your ears when they're when the car noises when um, because it, it, it they get really really loud and also because with those loud noises that are coming in it's kind of a warning to us to know 
that something bad is happening at that time. So it's covering up other stuff big time. And when they're really, really loud, you know that there must have been something really bad happen. Yeah, it's sick. It's sick and it's 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 horrific and it's so hard you guys to to listen to. But I I have watched ugh, I've so many hours into this, and I'm doing it because I want to find out. I want I know there's something in this video I'm going to find. I just know it. So with you guys, I'll help, and it's really great, and I appreciate it. All right, I'm going to get to part of the video now and stop jabbering away. <laughs> All right, thank you so much for watching and for your support. I appreciate every one of you. Thanks.